good. Tell a great start, matched your career low on the PGA Tour. A lot of fairways, a lot of greens. That's the recipe. Yeah, it is, <laughs> definitely. It's always a good sign when you're hitting a lot of fairways and putting it pretty well. So felt pretty in control of the round today and got some momentum going early and kind of carried it through. You talk about momentum. I would imagine this place has pretty good vibes for you. It's laid back, you got the ocean. Psychologically, you show up to a, a property like this, how good do you already feel? Yeah, it does have good energy here. Um, this was my first PGA Tour event two years ago in uh in 2018 and I, I played pretty well in it then so you know I, I definitely have good memories here as well um and then it's a pretty decent view so <laughs> not much to complain about here any chance to get around and do anything while you're i know it's right now everything's kind of a little bit locked down compared to where normally things are but do you look out there and see the surf and think to yourself man can i get out there <laughs> absolutely um <laughs> yesterday there was a, a swell hitting here that was like 10 to 15 feet just about an hour and a half from here uh, up the coast, but you know, obviously we're pretty focused on what we're doing and trying to take care of business and a little bit limited with the with the COVID restrictions. So another another year. What do you take away from today into tomorrow that you really liked out of your game? I thought I was pretty consistent, uh, especially just with my effort. Um, put myself in really good spots on the par fives. Um, you know, if you play the par fives well out here, um, you, you have a chance of shooting seven or eight under, um, if not lower. And so I feel like we did that pretty well today. And, um, yeah. It's great start. Keep it up. Thank you. Appreciate Howard, it. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned 2018. What do you remember about that year? I know you went into the final round, I think four back, but just in third place. But just talk a little bit about your uh, recollections. Yeah, great memories. I mean, the most vivid, I think the most vivid, vivid memory of that day was it was like a monsoon here. It was pouring rain. I, 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 my rain pants weren't working. So I just took them off. My pants are drenched. And I remember having like a 100-foot putt on the last hole, the back pin. I was barely on the front edge, into the wind, with it pouring, uphill. I hit it as hard as I've ever hit a putt, and I hit it to like this. <laughs> Still to this day, I think it might be the best putt I've hit. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty special place, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a, you know, it's a privilege to come down here to the Dominican Republic and, and have a, you know, an event out of the country um, they're great hosts here, and um, obviously the circumstances are a bit different this this time around. But uh, it's been enjoyable every time I've been down here. Last for me, just talk a little bit about the conditions out there. Really changed sort of your back nine, where it cooled off a little bit with the cloud cover. But talk about the conditions if you can. Yeah, well, the conditions of the course are, are are very good. You know, you have um, I believe the past past palm grass. So obviously we're not. Uh, we don't play on that a ton, so there's a little bit of getting used to that um, at the beginning of the week. But, um, you know, I feel like the weather was pretty tame today. For here, it can get really windy and, and sort of gusty. Um, and today it was pretty steady from the same direction all day, which made it, um, you know, able to, to kind of hone in your shots and, and know how the course was going to play. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.